Hey, thanks for joining us today. This is Lance with Brando Consulting, and we're going to take a look at how to fulfill a ship type transfer order. So let's go to Fishbowl, and the first place we start to fulfill a ship type transfer order is in Picking. So we'll take a look at Transfer Orders, and then you'll see under the Order Info, we can tell which type is a transfer order and a ship type transfer order and which type is a move type. This one is going from Salt Lake City to Michigan. So that is a ship type transfer order. So I'll double click on that, load it up on the screen. I won't get into picking too much on this video. We have other videos that cover picking. So I'm gonna skip through picking and we'll just pretend like we went through all the steps of picking. And then we go to shipping And we're going to skip through shipping. I cover shipping in other videos. So we'll load this order on the screen and say it's a delivery instead of will call. And we'll skip through shipping and just pretend like we went through all the steps of shipping and ship it out. So we picked it, we shipped it, and now we'll be able to find these parts in the inventory screen under in transit. So I'm going to go to the inventory screen, materials, inventory, and I'll look up that part number. It was a B202. Double click, and you'll see that that part number now shows up as in transit. Now it says Salt Lake City dash transit. We actually have control over where to change that. So we're going to segue just for a brief moment and show you where that setting is, where we can change it to say to or from the transit perspective. I'll go to the transfer order screen, go to tools, module options, and here's the setting where we can show the transit to or the transit from. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to change it right now or if we need to, um, you know, put that setting in before we create the transfer order. Maybe we have to log out, log back in if the um, of the client to restart the server or something, but that's the setting. And you'll see it's locked down and committed in transit. So now when someone that works in the Michigan building is doing the receiving and the shipment, the transfer order type shipment shows up in their receiving bay, they can reference it in the receiving screen and say, oh, there it is right there. Transfer order number 13, I think is what we did. Uh, let's see, yep, 13. And so now they load that up on the screen and receive the transfer order just like they would a purchase order. So someone with user rights to Michigan that works in Michigan will generally only see orders that apply to them. So then I'm gonna skip through all the steps of receiving. That's not the purpose of this video. Um, I have other videos for receiving. So we'll go ahead and receive this transfer order now. So notice this usually uh, plays out with multiple people in multiple buildings. One person in Salt Lake City will create the transfer order, pick it, pack it, and ship it. Maybe someone else in the warehouse will be the ones who actually record the picking, packing, and shipping. And then someone that has user rights to Michigan and receiving will receive the transfer order. So now that we've received it, we can go back to the inventory screen and refresh this and it will no longer be in transit. Now it's in the receiving location at Michigan. And that is how to fulfill a ship type transfer order. I'll create another video that shows how to fulfill a move type transfer order.